I'm Lorena. I'm from Brazil. I did a bachelor's in clinical psychology and a master's in neuroengineering. So I've heard about OIST actually in several different times of my life. And I remember during my master's, a friend of ours found OIST in a website. And he was like, Lorena, this is so much like you. It's interdisciplinary. Because I went like from psychology to, neuro to like engineering. I looked up OIST and I was like, oh, that's too fancy for me. Like I cannot go to a place like this for sure. They will never accept me. After I finished my master's, I was also like checking PhD places. And there is a website like find a PhD. And there was a huge advertisement for OIST. I was like, OK, that's another time that OIST appears to me. So maybe that's a sign or something. So like I kind of applied. I had zero expectations, but I applied and uh, I came to the interview to leave files over for the interviews. And when I stepped my foot at OIS, I looked at everything. I was like, this is the place for me. I'm going to do my PhD here, <laughs> whether they like it or not. Like, even if I don't make it now, I will apply it in the next year and, until I get in. And well, I was lucky and <laughs> got in. So here I am. Before coming, I think the language barrier was a concern for me. So I didn't know any Japanese and my English is not very good as well. So I was very concerned about the language. But OIS has a lot of ways to help us. There is the resource center, graduate school also help us a lot with, with Japanese related stuff. Turns out it wasn't a, a problem. And we can also take Japanese lessons here. That was very helpful. I'm taking the lessons and I really enjoy it. I was a very curious kid. I think when I started studying like the brain and introductory neuroscience in undergrad, it made me fascinated to get to know the organ that makes us who we are. I think the scientist life also combines like traveling and going to places and meeting different people. It kind of combines two things that I'm really passionate about. I study the neurobiology basis of uh, habit behavior. So you know, when you have to go to a drugstore, but you automatically drive to your work, for example, just by habit. So what we are studying is an animal model of that, of how the animals create the habit to go somewhere and what is happening in their brain when they're doing that. I got to design my own idea for the project along with my supervisors. I got to design like the behavioral apparatus, so there are small pieces and pretend I'm an engineer. So it was really fun. Outside of work, I really enjoy walking my dog, like going to the beach with her or just walking on campus because we have like such a beautiful campus. Uh, I'm also part of the student council. So I'm a welfare officer for 2020 student council. So we kind of facilitate the communication between students and OIST. Also part of lots of clubs. So I really like doing sports. So we play frisbee, volleyball. There are some sunshine lessons on campus also, which I take. I think it makes me feel like closer to the Okinawan community. And Okinawa also, I really like the outdoors activities of Okinawa. Okinawa is so beautiful. You can go to the beach, you can go snorkeling, hiking, diving. It's just, if you're an outdoor person, it's perfect. It's heaven. So I really like enjoying Okinawa. On our first week here at OIST, uh, someone took a picture of us with our, like, our dream for when we finish our, our graduation. And I remember I wrote, I want to make the world a better place. I think <laughs> it's very sweet, but I think it was also very grand. And uh, I still want to keep trying to make the world a better place. But I think what I want is to get to know the world through science and to get to know different people, different perspectives, and how science is being made in different countries. Because I think that kind of makes us like more together as a whole. <laughs>